We find ourselves at Malamed Sukai, and joining me on Malo TV are two doctors in charge of the Malamed ER unit, Dr. Anis Ishmael and Dr. Rafik Abrams. Now, following the president's speech on Sunday night, there seems to be a mass panic regarding the coronavirus. Uh, doctors, when would someone have to come to the ER? When do they have to come and see uh, a doctor at the hospital regarding coronavirus? Uh, it's a very good question. Uh, so the National Institute of Communicable Diseases has highlighted very clearly what a case definition is, so who needs to be tested. Those are patients who have respiratory symptoms, for example, fever, coughing, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, and in addition to that have either traveled outside of South Africa to a high-risk country or they've come into contact who has been a proven positive COVID-19 patient. So those are the patients that warrant testing at the moment. Do you find that some patients are coming to the ER and have no symptoms of coronavirus but they feel they need to be tested? How do you get tested? Yeah. So look, uh, you can see there's uh, panic in the in the in the community. Um, at this moment in time, I don't I don't really think there should be so much hysteria. Obviously, um, we have to take precautions, and everybody has to play their role. Um, those patients that do have symptoms, as Dr. Ishmael has has explained, they come through to the EC to the emergency unit. Um, we have a dedicated area where we will see these patients. Um, a doctor will see them. Um, the doctor will be wearing full protective uh, garment, and uh, the, we'll take a history from them, and if they uh, match the case definition uh, you know we'll get somebody from the laboratory to come and take swabs uh, nasal swabs and throat swabs and then within I think 12 to 24 hours we'll have uh, the results and we'll be able to give them the results. Now, Dr. Ishmael and Dr. Abrams were saying to me also that you know people are coming to the emergency units not going to turn you away but the emergency units are there for emergency cases. Absolutely we have to realize that despite the worldwide pandemic and despite the state of uh, the state of um, emergency in South Africa as highlighted by the president, we still have our normal heart attack and stroke patients and ER patients coming in. And obviously if we are clogged up with patients who are well, who are asymptomatic, who have not traveled outside of South Africa, who have not come into contact with anyone who has proven positive with COVID-19, coming to our ERs expecting to be tested, obviously there's a knock-on effect in terms of waiting times to get to the patients who actually require emergency intervention. Dr. Abrams, just quickly, if you do feel that there are any symptoms that you are concerned of as a patient, what are the procedures? What are the steps that you should take? Yeah. So, so as Dr. Ishmael has highlighted, if you've traveled and you've been to any of the countries um, that are marked as uh, you know red zones, um, and if you've been in contact with somebody that you know uh, has been uh, tested positive for coronavirus, then obviously come to the emergency unit immediately and we'll follow the necessary procedure from there. But if you have very minor symptoms or you're uncertain, you're asymptomatic, you don't have real symptoms, you're just concerned, I think it's best to go to your GP, have a discussion with your GP regarding uh, your concerns, um, and if need be, they will then obviously refer you across to us. Um, but as of Dr. Ishmael has, has highlighted, you know, we have to uh, look at the resources that we have and try and, and, and spread those resources across the people that is most deserving of it. Absolutely. So we have to find out whether the test is actually warranted, whether you meet the case definition for testing. The labs have also become saturated and the equipment to, to actually do the test is also limited. So we have to do the test on the patients that warrant the testing being done. We cannot do it on, pe uh, on people who are well or don't meet the case definition. The National Institute of Communicable Diseases has also provided a, a hotline where, where people can call uh, explain where they've been or what symptoms they have and they will direct them whether they need to actually see a doctor, whether they can see a GP, whether they need to come to an ER and I think that is a good channel for, for, pay, uh, for people to follow. And just to highlight the point, I mean, we've tested many, many people and we are yet to have a positive case. Um, so, you know, lots of people are coming in, uh, you know, they're, they're quite concerned. We're trying to assist as many people as possible, but uh, by far and large, we're doing too many tests at the moment, you know. Um, therefore, we advise, based on the NICD guidelines, if you're asymptomatic, if you're concerned, self-quarantine for a 14-day period. In that period, if you develop any symptoms, then please come and, and come and, and present yourself to an EC and we'll definitely test you. Absolutely. So in summary, is it a serious situation? Absolutely. Should we be following the recommendations given by the president? Absolutely. But is the need to panic? Not at, not at all. 
Well, there we heard from Drs. Ishmael and Dr. Abrams, their take on COVID-19 or known as the coronavirus. Your first point of call is to contact the COVID-19 public toll-free number. That number is 0800 029999 0800 If it is an emergency and you fit the criteria, please visit one of our emergency centres at all Malamed hospitals. From all of us at Malamed, please take care of yourself and until next time, thank you for watching this video. Goodbye.